Hey everybody, we're back. This is the Bad Dad, and this is Bad Dad Gaming, where we play dad games badly. And today we are back after uh, finishing up the train station to tackle this bad boy right here, the Fortune Teller's Wagon. Uh, that volcano, I'm telling you, it's not looking good. It seems to be getting worse and worse, but, uh, but here we are. It's Power Wash Simulator. It's in early access. It's in version 0.8, I believe, at this point, at the, report of, at the point of this recording, at least. And you can pick it up on Steam for about 20 bucks or so. Uh, and uh, this is our target today. We are going to be cleaning this uh, wagon. So there's a lot going on here. We got to get the top of it, probably have to get underneath it. I'm going to take a peek here, I'm assuming. Yeah, underneath it's filthy. And then there's some accoutrements that are sitting around on the outside here. So uh, we got some work to do. So I think we'll just go ahead and get started. We'll get started maybe by picking up the ladder and getting up there to the top. Let's get on up here and see what we got going on. Boy, I tell you, that that's not looking too good, is it? No. No, it's not. All right. Well, let's rock and roll. Uh, I'm going to start spraying and something's going to pop up. Watch. Boom. Hey, why don't you be my first subject, says the uncanny Franny. Subject at what? Fortune telling? I'll divine your past and future based on the ancient technique of water divi divination. All right. Let us spray. Eh. Let us spray indeed. So I hope you all are doing all right. Things are going okay here. Uh, this is actually the first time I've had an opportunity to play any video game since I recorded the uh, um, the train station once. Again, it's just busy, you know, normal stuff. So I'm just trying to get all the angles on this uh, sign here. What am I missing on it? I'm already missing something on it. I can't figure it out. Underneath it? Well, let's try to get up here and underneath it. All right. This is a hard angle to hit this thing at. Okay, I'm I'm out of ideas. There's some dirt there. Like I said, I'm a little bit out of practice, I guess. Is there a bunch of goop on this at all? Why isn't this triggered? All right, well, we'll come back to it. Maybe we'll figure it out. I'm not going to sit here and putts around with just one thing when there's so much other stuff to get, so. So, I guess we'll do the skylight roof. As far as I know, this is the second to last episode uh, of this. Oop. Oop. Okay, they're in separate parts. Cool. There we go. All right, let's see if we can't keep working on this sign. I don't get it, man. Oh, it's on the inside. Look at that. All right, we got it. All right, fantastic. All right, we'll now work on this here. The sky, skylight roof trim. Skylight roof. Yeah, there's just a bunch of different stuff going on here. We're going to knock it out here pretty quick, I think. I don't think this is going to be a real difficult episode for us. Certainly not going to be like the train station, which uh, took a good bit of work to get done. I am going to have to hit these from underneath them, though. There we 
There we go. All right. How about the chimney? And oh, oh, that's not good. I fell off the roof. Oh, now I can't get up the ladder. All right, we're back up. Let's go back to the chimney. Not a lot of room to work up here, actually. Surprisingly. And what's going on with the chimney? Do I have to hit underneath it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sort of shoot up at it, too. All right, well, we got most of it. We'll circle back to it. Let's get some of this other stuff. So I should be doing some work right now, but meh, I'll get to it. I have a bunch of new shows coming online. It's been, uh, work's been really, really good. Everybody's starting a podcast, man. Which is good for me. Because when there's a gold rush, sell shovels. And that's what I've been doing. Selling the shovels. Uh, podcasting has been, uh, a very successful medium to promote and and uh, give your business some more exposure. Uh, and so, consequently, there's been a lot of companies that have been looking to add that aspect to their platform. Uh, I've, I've often said that it's not necessarily a... Uh, it's not a substitute for marketing or sales, but it can be a force multiplier in those things. All right, we're going to get underneath here and try to get this thing. This will be a lot easier once we can get down off the roof, I think. There we go. Just the way this roof is sort of shaped, it's uh, it's not easy to, to work up here. So we're at the fairgrounds again. You can see, I, I would not have expected this to be at the fairgrounds, I guess. I was thinking the other day what a good level would be, and I thought maybe a go-kart track would be interesting, right? Uh, You would have to wash off like a bunch of tires and uh, the track itself, maybe stands. Come on, there we go. Have to get underneath the air. My, my, we're doing good. All right. Let's keep working on these uh, roof bits. Something else coming up. Uh, I, I've, I, yeah, like I said, I thought that. Uh, a go kart track would be a, a good a good level, um, and they could put it here at the fairgrounds. Uh, haunted house. Um, uh oh, I sense you're someone who's used to be wishy washy, always fitting from one thing to another. Um, uh, I mean, not really. But now you've this renewed focus. Like the 15 degree nozzle of quality pressure washing. That's pretty self, uh, self referencing. How would it, how would a fortune teller know the difference in pressure washer nozzles? I'm sorry, right, it's a game. It's a game about pressure washing. What the hell?
Alright. Yeah, there's a lot of little bits and bobs on these things. Alright. How about the... There we go. Um, I was going to just say, I think that's it for the roof, but I can see that it is, in fact, not everything for the roof. This uh, underside of the skylight is still a little bit dirty. There's something there. What? Oh. Not easy to move around up here. How about over here? Skylight skylight roof trim. Okay. But not the underside of the roof yet. Oh, pardon me, chimney. I'm just crawling around on the roof like an idiot. Ah, uh, there's some right there. Oh, almost fell off there. Let's see if I can get it from here. All right. I believe that's everything up here. Uh, let's get the this side of this canopy. Oh, listen to that. That's nice. It's like a fabric sound. All right. Canopy's looking pretty good. We'll get these poles, posts, whatever. Um, I think we're done up here. Let's go ahead and zip, zip down the canopy. And we'll just start working on this downstairs stuff. Uh, we'll work on this trunk chest, I guess. Sorry if you can hear my dog freaking out in the background here. I don't know what he's whining about, but he's been whining all day. All right, let's try getting down and see if this helps. This ledge underneath the, the chest, because I'm only missing just a little bit. There we go. All right, how about the posts? So this little dogger of mine, I think I'm gonna have to let him out and I'll tell you why. So this little dogger of mine decided that it'd be a good idea. Uh, to go garbage diving and eat a bunch of ham bones that were left over from Easter. Okay, Paul, why can't I find uh, what's left for you? All right, I'm, I'm going to circle back to that in a second. Oh, uh, he's laying down now. Yeah, Mr. Bad Dog. It was our fault. We left stuff in the garbage that we shouldn't have left in. He's a, he's a he's a garbage picker. He also counter surfs. If you have a golden retriever, I think you probably know they're pretty well food motivated. Uh, everything in them it's about food. And uh, this pup's no this pup is no. Uh, Ah, there's the dirt that we are missing on the post. Yes, okay. That was... All right, we'll keep that in mind for this one. Come under here and hit that. Back up here, push up the pole. 
Push up the pole this side. There we go. All right. How about the table? Oh. Hey, look, there's the cat. Cat's in the magic ball there. Nobody's mentioned the cat in a while. I think everybody gave up on the cat. Crystal ball still saying it's dirty. Well, I'm not sure why. I think I've gotten it from all sides now. Uh, I guess I have to hit it from like sort of down here. I don't understand. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. We'll get back to it. We're going to work on the table. Maybe by cleaning the table, we'll be able to figure out where the, what we're missing is. It's a very intricate table. The stuff here in the, it's really in the road. Uh, I'm having a difficult time getting to angles that I need to get to because of the stuff. All right. See, I can't get anywhere here. All right, let's do this real quick. There's that sound of uh, fabric again. And I'm going to get that crease corner up there just to see if there's anything in there that I need to address. And then this sort of curves back up. So, of course, it's going to be a little dirty. Boy, that volcano not looking good, man. Just missing a spot on the canopy here, but I'm not sure where. Nah, I was on the edge. All right, what do we got here on the table? Well, got some of that to go. See if I can go through and get that on that side too. I'm gonna be into, uh, what about, come on. The top of the ball is still dirty. All right, stand by as I address my dog's uh, needs here. I'll be right back with you. Oh, yeah, he had to go. That ham, man. Not easy. Ah, there's the ball finally. All right. So I think we got this stuff all taken care of. All right. So that leaves us with the wagon. Uh, let's start working on the wagon from this side. All right. I'm going to move this thing out of the way, though. There we go. And we'll switch to a bigger gun. Just so we can get more power in the places where we need the power. And we'll get the roof underside here. Yeah, so um, last night I had uh, uh, got up because I had to go to the bathroom. Uh oh, time out. Suddenly you feel this need to wash away the sins and malaise of the unfortunate. No, man, I do it for the money. Like, this isn't dislodging moss and muddy streaks. It's almost a compulsion for you, a compulsion that's threatening to take over your life. No, honestly, it's not. But, I, I mean... Whatever, man. Um... There we go. There's the door handle. Door is almost done. The uncanny franny. There it is. Got it. All right. Let's work on this stuff because it looks like there's just some loose ends up here in the corner. Uh huh. All right. And now we'll do the porch entry platform. 
which we'll probably have to get the bottom side of as well because uh, I'm cleaning it off and it's not making a whole lot of progress is it and we'll do the stairs here we'll just keep walking this way anyhow like I was saying I had to go up I had to get up last night to go to the bathroom and this was like three in the morning uh, and boy I tell you the doggers was ready to rock and roll he's like uh, I hope you're letting me out because I gotta go and uh, sure enough we have uh, the effects of ham the effects of Easter ham were uh, were evident from our little garbage picker now here's more of this platform I bet yep and how about the legs ah it's considering the legs too Uh, this, I don't I don't know I'm not sure about this level there's a lot of nooks and crannies in this thing so I gotta recognize the fact that I made an editing mistake in the last episode I had paid somebody like a couple bucks on fiber fiber <laughs> fiber to um, record that previously on bad dad gaming uh, and then that little thing and then I, I noticed that when I watched it later that I screwed up I uh, I edited the audio wrong which Disappointing to me. I didn't notice it until I uploaded it. So I'm gonna have to I Would like to say that I'll put in a checklist or something that says I'll I'll watch for that in the future But I'll be honest with you. This is like I said a hobby thing for me. So I don't want to make it a work thing and, and like have to make a checklist and follow a checklist and probably would make my videos better. Um, and maybe I will in the future or something, but for now, it's just sort of like doodling. Half journal, half doodle. Oh my. All right, I guess I gotta crawl under here. No, of course I can't, okay. Just gonna have to get it at this weird angle. And these cross beams. Come up here, get that. Come down the legs. Can I get underneath the steps? No, I cannot. All right. All right, that's fine. We'll just work on it this way, I guess. Get these legs of the platform. Maybe that's enough. And now I think we're getting... Uh, there's some dirt up there. All right. Uh, what are we missing? Well, probably the undersides of these X's. We're close. We're also close on the stairs. Uh, there's some here on the edges of the steps. Uh-oh, sneezing coming. <clears throat> Come on. What am I missing? Down here at the foots. The foots. The feet. There's some there. Where else? All right, there's the stairs. Superb. All right, how about this handrail? Uh, we'll come up and get it from over here.
Oh, the handrail. I never got the top of it. That's a problem. I never got the top of this one either. Entry platform. What's left, buddy? There's some down there. There's some on that cross beam. Boy, we are so close. There we go. We got her. Okay, that was more painful than it really needed to be, frankly. Okay, we'll do this uh, core bell. I've never even heard of a core bell before. Uh, this wall decorative trim was part of it. And I am just going to go ahead and assume that I have to get the inside of it as well. I must have missed some spots when I did this. Yeah, up here. All right. Well, while we're here, we'll go ahead and get this one. And come down low and hit it here. Um, pop back down, come around. Let's get the core bell from outside. That was the trim. Oh, that was the front door wall. Almost have this one. There it is. All right, handrail. Handrail. How about underneath it? There we go. Same here? Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll do this wall now, including this decorative wall trim. We'll start with that. some stuff that's sticking to it pretty good up there. Ah, there's two things. A decorative wall trim and a fascia. I've gotten... I wonder if you're going to make me get up there for like a ledge on the trim. We're going to try it. Yeah, of course you did. Okay. And now back to the fascia. Oh, this is now the roof underside. Oh, there's the fascia. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain in the butt. Oh, wow. Looking into your future, it's really quite amazing, says the uncanny Franny. Oh, wow. I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm going to be deliberately vague here, but there are things you're going to do and see beyond your imagination in the next little while that are going to blow your mind. I'll go so far as to say that without you, this entire planet is lost. Whoa. That's... That's a bold statement, Franny. The planet is lost without me? Woo. I love it when we trip a bunch of them. It's like a slot machine. All right, shutter, shutter, shutter. 
shutter. Nicely done. And right, let's work on some wheels. Yeah, we're here. We'll get this one. It's nice to be able to do these wheels instead of like tires where you have to get individual treads like the monster truck tires. All right, how about the treads of the wheels? Yep, it counts them too. I expected that. And I'm betting I'll also have to get the inside, like shooting in, yeah, like this. Some of this may be very difficult to get though. Um, maybe I have to come at it from this way. Ah, that axle is actually considered part of the wheel, too. So I wonder if that's... There we go. We got her now. All right. Well, we've learned our lesson on the last one, so we'll come in here. Clean up the inside of the wheels. I'm going to go to a smaller hose here. I mean, a smaller sprayer. Something I can get a little closer in, work a little closer with. So we're already at three stars. I mean, that's what the message was about. It was a third star message. Probably get one more message here before. All right, wheel. I think we got most of you. No, no good spots anymore. And they don't give you, they don't give you much. All right, where am I missing dirt on this wheel? Or some at the top of the wheel? Got it. Okay, cool. Um, so we got that whole side. Let's get the back here. guy's kitchen cabinet connected to the back of the wagon to make things even more difficult can I get in here I can okay although it's pretty tight And while I'm down here, I'll see what I can do about these wheel, the back side of the wheels here. And the axle mount. All right, I think that may be about as far as I can go on that. Let's go and see what I can do on this side. There, that went, that went, that went well. All right. Um, again, since I'm here on the ground, let's see what I can do about these wheels. At least get them from this angle. All right. I'm gonna need that. Let's see if I can let's see if I can use this for it. Yeah, this helps a little bit. I may actually just need the ladder. Bring the ladder over here. Yeah, let's do that. And then see if I can, yeah, like that. Now I can sort of attack it from above. Hey, Doc, how's the wash? I'm back up and rumbling rushless. Back up on rumbling rushless, says Calvin Miller. Never thought I'd say this in my lifetime, but the data is off the charts. 
Yeah. Yeah, I would sure see that from here. It's not looking too good there, Calvin. I hope I'm wrong, but it looks like she's ready to blow, and if she does, Muckingham is in real danger. Well, gee whiz, I would hate for that to happen because, honestly, uh, I just power washed, like, practically everything in the city. So, I mean, it's fine. I got paid for it, but... Well, we get this roof here. All right. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to do... Why is it... Uh, it's not dirty. It's shadow. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just run through the rest of this and get as much as I can uh, without really worrying too much about being super on top of everything and, and knocking out each piece before I go to the next piece. And and so my thought process is that I can, um, what I don't get, I'll come back and get, and, and I should be able to use the dirt finder uh, a little bit better because most of the stuff will be gone already at that point. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll just keep Plugging along here. All right, those tarot cards are done. There we go. 89%. We're almost there. Ninety two percent. Yeah, see what I mean? All right, now we'll go underneath here and clean up the underside of this thing to the best of our ability. Make sure we got this thing looking good. That seems to be most of the underside. Uh, I'm sure there's underside up here. Yeah. So more axle housing. Axle mount. And there's that ledge there. I bet you're going to make me get that ledge, aren't you? Yeah, I gotta be honest, not a fan of this level. Making it real hard for me to get into crux, get into places to, to get them clean. Uh, what about back here? This axle mount is like mostly clean. All right, well, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to save ourselves a bunch of time. Axle mounts, too. Yes, of course. Uh, and then, looks like they're wood. They are wood. So let's get some wood cleaner. And uh, we own everything in the... We own everything in the shop, so we can sort of get a little... Cheeky with the uh, cleaning supplies. We don't have to save up for anything anymore. Okay. Oh, look. Th yeah. That's what it was. All right. Let's see if there's that on this side, too. Oh, not there. 
Uh, maybe a little bit there. Yeah, see, this is... All right, we're going to go around. Okay, get down here. There we go. How about you? Same deal? Eh, there's some up here. So I'm hitting the tab button, trying to find where the dirt's at. On this axle. There it is. All right. Now you're a pain in the butt. Oh, look at this. This thing. I forgot to get this thing. So, this should be easy. Oh, I got to get it inside it too? Sure. Of course I do. Alright. <sighs> Crap's in the way. Now, see, for this, I should be able to pick it up, move it out of the way, and clean it, right? Now, I get it. You don't want to move. You don't want to make uh, parts movable. I completely understand that. But what you do, though, in that case, is you make the spots a little bit easier. So it's not annoying just to be annoying. If you ever played the game uh, Viscera Cleanup Detail... Uh, that was that was one of my biggest challenges with that game. Um, my biggest criticisms is that the game is designed to be monotonous and like to have you do a lot of cleaning work and that obviously it's viscera cleanup detail. But what they they sort of lean into the fact that the engine is wonky and doesn't necessarily uh, handle edges of edges of items well. So what happens then is that you're cleaning and then all of a sudden you spill something because it didn't sit in the element in the in the environment right, right? So you'll spill a, a bucket of dirty water. And now you have to clean up the bucket of dirty water simply because the engine that they use doesn't handle uh, some components, like doesn't handle the physics well. So, so they make that part of the game, right? Let's make it more frustrating because um, they'll spill this stuff and then they'll have to clean it up. But you're not cleaning it up because you dropped it. You're not cleaning it up because um, it's messy. You're cleaning it up because the game itself is broken. And uh, I don't care for that. All right. Sorry. Let's go ahead. And now we got all the actual cleanness. Bay window cap. Uh, that's going to be in the back. And it's going to be... Well, I can see there's some dirt there. Let's crawl, let's crawl up here slowly and see if I can't knock out some of the stuff. I assume the bay window cap is up here. And that's looking pretty good. There's some dirt on that. All right, let's move the ladder to the other side and see if we can uh, do something similar. Yes. Oh, yeah, I totally missed that. 100%. Also, look how dirty this is up here. All 
Alright, there's the bay window cap. Oh, uh, bay window support. Did I get the other support? Is it clean? It is not, because there's some dirt on the bottom of it. There it is. Okay. Uh, chests. Oh, I missed this chest. What's missing on it? Probably. Oh, my God. There we go. Now, I don't mind this, like the fact that the chest... There we go. That's, that's, that's fine. Because it's not leaning into the broken Im image. Uh, I'm missing one fortune card. It's going to be on this side, I guess. Right there. Gotcha. All right. And then a uh, roof. Huh? How many roofs? Uh, we've got nine out of the ten roofs. Let's get up and see if we can see it up here. Yeah, it's this one up here. All right. Oh, well, there's some dirt right there. I don't know if that was it, but it certainly doesn't help. Uh, roof decorations. Roof decorations, huh? Oh, uh, how many? One roof decoration. It's this, uh, it's this little half moon thing right here. Hello. All right. Fine. Be that way. Take chemicals. Enjoy the chemicals. What am I standing on here? Roof fascia is bad too. I got it now. Uh, can I stand on this thing and find it? No. Let's try going at it this way. Nope. How about this way? There we are. Ooh, you're a pain in the butt. Roof fascias. Um, well. There's a trim. There's some under here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's some dirt on the underside of this roof. Also... Yep, there we go. Oof. This whole thing is pretty dirty. Yeah, take take it. Oh, it's plastic. I got the wrong cleaner. Uh, to the shop. Let's go get plastic cleaner. I would not have expected this to be plastic. Uh, I would have thought this to be wood. All right, what are we? What are we doing here? Uh, roof fascias, but look at that. Oh, that's wood. Also, it's not... I don't need to... Yeah, there we go. 
Um, I wonder if the fascia is going to be up top. I will circle back to it. Roof ribs, that's certainly up top. That's what these things are. And it must be one on this side. Yeah, it's this one right here. Okay. What now, sir? Roof trims. Oh, it's up top. It's that yellow thing that's up top. Okay. Let's get on up there and get them clean. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it here. All right, there's the roof trim. Uh, there's more of them. The skylight, skylight ribs are dirty, too. How about that one? Yeah, that one's dirty, too. Okay. And how about you? No, you're good. Uh, this roof trim, though. I gotcha. Oh, there's another one. Okay. How about over here? Anything over here? Oh, look at that. Don't fall off. Uh, the roof decorative trim is what I'm working on here. And it's... There it is. Okay. Now what do we got? Uh, there's more roof decorative trims that we have to worry about. And it's because they sort of lean over the edge a little bit. Okay, about here. Walk down this side, gotcha. And uh, I assume this is one here too. And we'll walk it back. I think we may have gotten them all. Oh, seat. Well, we did it. Roof undersides. Well, certainly not here. Uh, I see it on this side, at least. There's some right there. Okay. Uh, what about you, guy? I'm, ta I'm hitting the dirt searcher, the tab. Uh, maybe right under here? Maybe? Maybe we use some plastic cleaner? I can't find it. All right, we'll circle back to it. Uh, what do we got left? Not much here. Side panels. I haven't done one side panel. I also don't know what a side panel is. Oh. Oh, I know what you need. You're going to be... Yeah, okay. All right, that's that side panel. And we'll come around here to this one. And assume basically the same thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sweet. Oh, window frames.
Gotcha. And we'll come around here on this side. Okay. And we'll do this guy too. That window frame's actually already done. Oh, we got all the window frames. Wheels. We're missing one wheel. It's this wheel. All right, got the wheel. What else do we got here? Uh, wall decorative trims. Wall decorative trims. That's probably these things. Wall trim. Well, there's one of them. I don't think that's the same one as the one we're trying to do. Yeah, see, this is the wall decorative trim. This fancy stuff. All right. See if I have to crawl up it and hit it from an angle here. Yes. All right. Bring this around to the back because I bet we're going to have to do that back here too. All right. Wall decorative trim looks good. Wall trims. Well, we got the one. It's going to be this one on this side, I bet. Yeah. And there's some dirt behind the wheels. That may play a part in it. It did. All right. Underside. I didn't finish this. I did not. Well, let's see what I can do here. There we go. We got you underside. That was a tough one. Uh, table. Now, I'm laying down. I can't get under the table. All right. We're down to three items. Roof, fascia. All right. So let's do that one. Let's go back to that one. That's this bad boy. And it's probably underneath here. I see it. I see the dirt. I gotta come up here. Let's see if this works. It's underneath the canopy and above this trim piece. How do I do this? I stand on the maybe I stand on the tret the, the trunk? Man, yeah, that worked. Alright, roof trim. Which roof trim? Is that a trim that's up here? Again with the roof trim, it's these uh, yellow bits that we got to keep an eye out for. Uh, how about here? It's this one. Woo! Roof underside. Yes. This is the last bit for this one. Here it is. There is a little bit of dirt. Ah, oh, there we go. Is this Wishy Washers? I got details from your friend Harper who's helping us with an historic dig. Fancy getting involved? Well, 
Wagon looks great. Thanks so much. Mind how you go, eh? All right. Fanny, Franny, thanks. Woo, I didn't care for this one, um, but I appreciate you sticking around to watch it. Um, I think I'm going to record the last one. I think the last episode is the last one. I probably should get to work. Nah, I'm going to do some recording first. Let's take a walk around. Ooh, the ancient statue. All right. Let's take a look. Phenomenal. Done. That's the best part about it. It's done. All right. Let's go uh, take care of the ancient statue. And uh, that's. I'll see you on the next episode. And uh, be good to it yourself. Be good to each other. And hey, we'll talk again soon. Bye now.